Bucks. Okay, so Russell Wilson has just been dynamite. I mean, look at his numbers this year. First in all of those categories, he had four touchdown passes on Thursday night. None more impressive than the first one, the Tyler Lockett, that requires some next-gen stats to show you just how amazing it was. For instance, the number of uh, yards that Russell Wilson scrambled before releasing the pass, according to next-gen stats, 24.6 yards. And then the ball traveled 39.2 yards into a spot where Tyler Locke was only separated from Eric Weddle by less than a yard and then mere inches from the sideline when he put both of his toes down. The completion probability was 6.3%. And those are your next-gen stats. The old-gen stat is it was one singular touchdown. And it is a perfect play to send things over to the trio of guys. Play with abandon That's presented by great. Wrangler. Gentlemen, take okay. it away. Thank Don't you, you feel like 6.3 was high for that? I mean, that was incredible. That was incredible. Is that what we call dropping a dime? Unbelievable. Who made that up? Man, dropping. Huh? That's dropping wow. a dime. Well, you're our resident MVP, Kurt Warner. <laughs> and let me ask you, is Russell Wilson the front runner for MVP this year? Oh, man. I I'm not sure he's a front runner with what Patrick Mahomes is doing. That he's been better than he was last year as the MVP. But... I believe he is 1A. What, what he's doing, and you look at it two different ways, Patrick Mahomes is probably making more plays than Russell Wilson. But I believe Russell Wilson has to carry his team more. He's got to do more with less situations to succeed, just like we saw right there. And those kind of plays he makes every single week and carries his team, and they're never out of a game. I mean, he is right there. He's been this way for a long time with his football team, Michael, yeah. where he's been the guy that's had to carry them week in, week out. Um, he's playing as well as he's ever played. So I think he's right there with Patrick Mahomes. But maybe give a slight edge to Patrick. Yeah, but you know, okay, we, we have to look at this. We say MVP. Are we talking MVP of the league or MVP to your team? Because when we talk about most valuable player to your team, I think you can stick a quarterback in Kansas City and they can still come away with some wins. You can't find anybody that can do what Russell Wilson do <laughs> I agree. For, for the Seahawks. And, and, and from that standpoint, I said, oh, God, oh, yes, this kid is definitely uh, MVP worthy. I mean, he's just that was an incredible game the other night. And, and you talk about more plays. He, Patrick Mahomes made more plays with his arm to get up the field. But the things he do with his legs mm. and his eyes staying up field is incredible. It gives these guys a chance to win a football game every time, and they don't have that talent level to have that chance. Yeah, they're, they're the most exciting players that we have right now in our league, and, and uh, I, I'm with you, Mike. I, you know, Russell Wilson, you can't replace that guy in this offense, and when, you, you cannot, when the season started, I said, man, you lose Doug Baldwin, mm. right? His, his go-to guy, really. Yeah. You lose Frank Clark and Earl Thomas on defense. I thought the Seahawks would take a step back. They didn't take a step I, back. I, I kicked him out of the playoffs in, in our original show because I thought, yeah. Who's around Russell Wilson that's right. going to yeah. allow them? Yeah, well, he Tyler Lockett's anybody. doing a nice job. He's going to be a good player. No doubt. Yeah, great player. Lockett's on Can't his best year, 1,300-yard yeah. year, so, yeah.